We are celebrating women all month long here on King 5. And this morning, a Seattle author, composer, and social media oh. influencer, <laughs> just a few things, there's more, uh, is joining us this morning. This is Yasna Bismala. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, let's get right to it. You have a huge following on social media, so I'd love for you to tell people just how you're able to protect yourself in terms of mental health on social media, but also being able to be impactful and a positive uh, example for other Gen Z kids that are on there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, for me, I try to lead with intention, um, even when it's just kind of like, why am I checking this up? Because mm. um, I realize that, you know, there have been definitely certain points in my life where I'm checking Instagram 20 times a day and I'm like, why am I doing that? There's actually really no point of me doing that. And it's also counterproductive to like me working on my projects that I'm talking about. Um, so what I did actually was just get a separate phone. <laughs> oh, so great. this one, I can all, I mean, it's an iPod pretty much, but yeah. um, I can only use it on the Wi-Fi. Um, and that one has all my social media. My phone that I use every day only has my email, texting, and that's already pretty overwhelming in and of itself. So um, for me, that's how I, you know, I just try to be very intentional and have a set amount of time with social media um, to make sure that I'm on there for a purpose rather than just to scroll and not really thinking about it. But it's definitely a, a hard you know, balance to have. Ba Especially with you, you're probably getting tons of notifications, but what a great way to separate the two things. Like you said, you can only do this on this particular device and then on the other. So that's great advice I think a lot of us oh. take, not just young adults. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Uh, speaking of your social media following, when was it that you realized you were reaching that influencer status? And then how do you use it going forward to communicate with all the projects you're working on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I kind of became an influencer on accident, I guess. Okay. So, you know, I just posted like a video of me and my mom. And for me, that's normal, right? So um, I'm biracial, I'm Japanese, and I'm Caribbean. My mom is Japanese. And, you know, when people see us, they're like, oh my God, like, that's your mom? And I'm like, yes, that's, that's, it's, it's, it's my normal. It's normal. So, so for me, like, it wasn't really shocking that I just, you know, I did, I did a family video. A family video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, you know, I think that's kind of like how I got into it. And then I was like, oh, wow, this can actually be a really great tool. And especially um, when it comes down to conversations around multiculturalism, um, what, you know, family means yes. um, and just like being able to have these like really healthy and like deep conversations with my mom and be able to share that with people who, you know, have different experiences with their parents. I think for me, um, it, it, it's a great way to just have that community and build it. And before we go, we want you to talk a little bit about Work Your Net. Why was it important for you to write this book? Yeah, so for me, you know, I, so I, I was in the AP program at Garfield. I went to Columbia University, and now I'm going to be going to USC to study film scoring. And all these programs, I had a really great time. But what I also realized is, you know, what the questions that I was always having was, why am I one of the few people um, that look like me in these spaces. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I'm better than anyone. It's not because I'm more, you know, in, in that sense, or more talented than someone. It's, it's more just a question of lack of, you know, difference in, in resources, in network, um, and information. And, you know, I wanted to create this book to first challenge institutions, because I feel like there's often this question, or, you know, people, a lot of institutions will be like, well, we just don't have enough qualified mm -hmm women, qualified yeah. people of color, qualified people from this, you know, insert background. And, you know, I think for me, I want to challenge what does qualified even mean? Yeah. Oh, I think you're in the way <laughs> doing that already. Oh, thank you. This is fantastic. Um, take a look at your screen right now. Ways to connect with Yasna are on your screen right now. You can find Work Your Net on Amazon and you can find Yasna on Instagram at Yazi underscore nay. Yasna, thanks so much for being with us and keep going. Keep shining. Oh, thank you so much.